hello welcome to my video i'm flectera and you probably have seen my last video so a lot of people reached out to me in the comments with opinions question and advice in this video i will be answering the comments and just like explaining the whole situation since i haven't really in the last video because i didn't think so many people would care i left out all the details but today you will find out all the juicy parts. So many people were really, really supportive and wrote like really nice comments. I am really, really grateful for the support I got. I got really hopeful that so many people were so nice to me. I will summarize the situation really quick. I came to work, I was told, technically I was fired, like I was told that I should go back home and they don't need my work anymore. So they fired me same day without notice. So I was shocked, came home, made the video. Like that's the story. Now I'm gonna explain more. Let's start with a simple comment. What was your job? <laughs> I was working in the restaurant in Tsukiji. It's a very like touristy area, so a lot of foreigners came to the restaurant also. I was the waitress. I took orders, I bring out the food, I clean everything in the end of the shift. That was my job. Very simple. You can't really do anything wrong. Next, I got a comment that's saying that probably the reason I got fired is like the language barrier and that I should study Japanese <clears throat> more. And I do agree. I, of course, can always put more effort into studying, but you have to understand it's a very touristy area, so I speak a lot of English anyway to the customers. The Japanese in restaurants is not a lot, so you learn like 20 phrases, it's like completely enough. It's literally just like, Irashaimase, namesama desu ka, kuchira dozo. It's like not that hard. I didn't have problems with the language while working. I don't think it's that. I also got a question. <laughs> I understand the question. Surely there is something I had to do that they're firing me on the spot, right? But I talked to my co-workers. I have friends at work. Everyone's shocked. Everyone thinks I did a good work. And the boss to this day says the only reason is they don't have enough money. They don't make enough right now. It's not busy enough. I think it's very important to note they hired me during tourist season, like in April, like Sakura season. I worked all the way this whole summer. I worked to the like, golden week and when it like slowed down, less tourists, I got fired. I think that makes sense. But besides only working as a waitress, they asked me for a lot of favor. They opened a second restaurant and they asked me to design the entire restaurant. And I did it. I did the logo, the banner, everything, the whole design, the advertisement. They asked me to draw every single food item and drink item. So I spent hours and hours preparing that. They didn't give me any money for that. That happened quite quickly after they hired me. I understand why they need to let someone go. And I also understand they will, of course, let a foreigner go. They might leave the country when their visa expires instead of a Japanese person. What is important to know, what I did not say in the last video, just like to keep it simple. I think what I'm going to say now is making the restaurant look even worse. They know my visa runs out in four months, right? So when I came to work, they didn't say you are fired. They say we give you like a vacation on four months. I think you call it like laid off but in four months i'm gonna leave japan right so they they technically fired me but like in their japanese way to not be too rude because they still feel sorry for me and then they say if it's during the christmas season if it gets too busy maybe you can come back for like one or two weeks at first i was like mm, okay but then i talked to people and people like my friends told me that's really selfish of them and also kind of disrespectful i don't know if they avoided legal actions with that we coming like to the next uh, comment i have to read that it's a really long comment but i think it's important under japanese law if a company makes a worker take time off due to company circumstances they must pay a leave allowance of at least 60 percent of the worker's average daily wage 
I really wasn't aware of how illegal that is actually. I feel like in European countries, it's like more easy to fire someone on the part-time job. I'm going to the labor standard inspection office. I will go there uh, in two days with a Japanese friend, like they recommended me. Let's see what happens because I think the situation is quite complex. They didn't give me a paper that says, you are on vacation, you are fired. And I didn't think about that, you know? I never have been fired in my life. I never have been working full time somewhere. I'm, I'm still very young. I didn't know better. I didn't ask them for it. I'm just gonna wait what the labor standards inspection office will say. But I have to say if it will be like too stressful, or too complicated. I don't want to get a lawyer or something. I will just drop it. Like also Kaito and some people advise me. Maybe it's more important to focus on finding a new job and concentrating on making YouTube videos and just like on the positive things and on the negative things who cares man why are youtube recommending me this <laughs> uh, why are you clicking on it why are you commenting thank you so much you brush your teeth without toothpaste i would fire you too i did use toothpaste I'm kind of overwhelmed by all the support I got in the last video maybe now I do think getting fired is not always a negative thing you can like turn it around and make it something positive and I'm sure I'm gonna find a better job now <laughs> I'm tomorrow I'm dedicating the whole day of finding a new job I'm so excited for my next video my next video will be a big surprise so excited okay bye 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 bye